All right, welcome back to Subnautical. This is Green Dragon Hearts. We're playing Subnautical. It's good to be a survivor, isn't it? All right. So, let's explore this island. So, we have the landing site right there. We're going to land in 31 minutes. So, we have 31 minutes to explore this island. And this uh, alien thing, I would assume. Alien. Uh, let's take a look around the island first. <clears throat> so... Nice that they have land masses. Ooh, let's see if we can get in close to that. Scan it. Oh, hold still. Thingy. Sky ray. Look at that. It's a, it's a ray that's in the... Oh, man. And I think we left the grab... We did. We left the grab thing back on our ship. Stupid crabs. Just run away, man. Alright. At least on most things, when you smack them around... Uh, ah, there's so many of these things. But they don't want to get smacked again. So they, they kind of run away after... Getting hit a couple times. Most of the time. Apparently not every time. Um... Ooh, diamonds. Diamonds are forever, guys. Diamonds and gold, man. Ooh. I know some women that like to be on this planet. Diamonds and gold just everywhere. <clears throat> 29 minutes. Oh, is this water? Oh... that was a, a breakable uh, see I think we got the sea glide so bust the sea glide out here not much in here uh, stupid things. Alright, we got a cave. We got cave bush material. Stupid little crawly crab thing. And not much. Not much. Ooh, that's a new, new plant. New, new plants. Spotted duck leaf. And Flurred Papias. Uh. Yeah, we got that from... 30 seconds. Oop. Time to book it back up. Uh, if we're going to be doing more of this, we need to make sure we uh, make... The um, um, oh, what's it called? The Pathfinder tool. Because if we're going to be going underwater into caves, 
Is this the way we came in? This looks like the way we came in. Yeah, we came in this spot. Um, over there we do. If we're going to be coming in more and doing spladunking, we probably should make the mapping tool so we know how we got in and out of places. Ooh, guess I was supposed to scan that. Let's see if we can dive in from up here. Woo! <laughs> All right, let's take a look down here. Now we're kind of on a mission to go deeper. Uh... Oh, look at that! There's another, another purple tablet. Man, how deep does this go? Remember, the brain coral fills up your oxygen. Not very quickly, though, I've noticed. There we go. Still does it. Gives you a boost. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Um. As long as you remember where they're at, they can basically extend your diving capabilities quite a bit. Uh, so... Especially a time like this when, you know, I left my Seamoth up above. Well, I don't know, I'm not really seeing anything too cool. I'm going to have to turn around here in a second. Yeah, I'm going to turn around. Run out of air if I keep doing this. <clears throat> Might run out of air anyway. Since I... I don't really remember where the brain coral is at. Oh, no. No, 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 no. See? I did it. I killed myself. Oh, brain coral. I don't think this, this might have been the same brain coil. I got lucky. Um, let's go to that spot there. It looks like it's going up. Man, got lucky there. Not a game where you uh, sit and try to wait out. You're gonna run out of oxygen or not? Brain coil saved my biscuits. All right, one more brain coil burp on me, and we'll be good to go. Saw you, little crab guy. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> I definitely get a little, uh, confusing at first. I think that's 
pretty much thoroughly uh, researched until we get either a bigger tank or um, better fins or I don't know. Oh, uh, the rebreather would, would help a lot because that I need food. Go drop stuff off at our seam off. Yeah, Ow, stupid. Oh, ah, little monkeys. Come back here so I can hit you again. How rude. Barely in the water. Alright, let's go check the up spot here. That was, looks like it was like a down spot, so this is like an up spot. I mean, it looks like that's the end way into the spaceship. But I think if we go in the spaceship, we're going to miss the landing. And I don't want to miss the landing. Well, I want to get picked up. And there's the Aurora over there. Hello, Aurora. How are you? Not doing so hot, apparently. In pieces. All right. Oh, something purple up there. Let's see what's up there. Uh, I think we got more of the mushrooms that were at the other place. Uh, this is a landing spot. At least we're getting a bunch of diamonds, I guess. Those are uh, not something we can get in the safe shallows easily. So that's a good thing. What is this? Uh, whoa, insert ion cube. I don't have an ion cube. Do we have to check this out? Um, hopefully we'll find some ion cubes or something. I don't, I don't even know what an ion cube is, but I want to find out. So now we know what's in this. This what's well, actually actually it's got a second part over here. Maybe we'll find one of those ion cubes in here. Kind of a twisted and winding little place. Seventeen minutes till the sunbeam. Man, there's a lot of these things in here. Till the sunbeam lands. So hopefully, I know it was stupid. I mean, hopefully we'll get something from him. Man, out! I doubt rescue just because you know, it's too early in the game to, to be rescued. Now, it is a game about surviving on a. Oh shit! You, you stupid little monkey. Um. I mean, it is a game about surviving on a planet, so I doubt I'm going to get rescued. 
But I might get some cool gear or um, get to see something neat. a piece there. Kind of wish the light would stay out when I'm running. It's a little obnoxious. The light turns out when I run. Man, those things like blend in. Like I missed a bunch of stuff walking through here. Um, I thought I saw an upward an upward tunnel over here. Um, no, I guess I was wrong. Let's go up this way. I know I saw Alright, that's a dead end. I know I saw a purple light in the cave here. Um, in that spot. There! Eh, ha ha ha! See, I knew I saw a purple light. You guys all thought I was crazy. Going, there ain't no purple light, you nut job. Of course, if I had just turned around, I would have seen the purple light right away. Oh, my inventory is full. That's not good. Alright, let's go. Oh, that's probably a bad idea. Oh, oh no, oh no. Ah! Ooh, ouch. Okay. Alright, let's go get rid of some stuff. Ouch. Those things really aren't deadly. They're just more annoying than anything I would say. Um, oh wow, gold and diamonds and stuff, that's all good, uh, good loot. Alright, let's go see if we can get this unlocked, because that looks like there's a force field over it. So we'll come over here, we'll do some pre-exploring before the ship lands. We got the countdown, so... It is Force Shield Control Terminal. Kind of a given, Scans I'd say. indicate this structure is composed of a metal alloy with unprecedented integrity. No match is found in database performing structural analysis. This is kind of, this is kind of cool here. Oh, what's that? Let's check this out. See what this is. Unknown language, attempting translation. Well, if it's an alien structure, of course, it's an unknown alien language. I mean, isn't that kind of a given? Hey, ooh, what's that? What's that? An ion cube. Ah. Now we can put an ion cube in that ion cube spot. Um, Kind of, ooh, another iron cube. Be kind of cool if um, there was more stuff to scan and gather. Unknown language, attempting translation. In the alien buildings. Enforcement. Platform. Your best probability of interfacing with this facility is achieved by accessing the control room in the lower section. Oh, hey, whoa, crap. That's pretty cool. A little, uh, 
zero G elevator. That's kind of cool. Oh, um, water. Man, too bad I don't have my uh, sea moth down here. All right, so far it's taken us four minutes to get where we're at. Oh, what's that? Alien rifle? Uh, it doesn't say that I can build it, though. It's in here. not know does not give me the option to scan I mean I did scan one of those that was outside so we're at six minutes now Ooh, another ion cube it has got to be used for something oh maybe I should scan one before I pick one up next time oh, that was kind of stupid uh, tablet <clears throat> what's that thing doomsday device oh man we got lucky on that one Seven minutes now. The facilities control room lies beyond this doorway. I have to turn around here soon. Make sure I don't got anything down here. No. All right. Nine minutes. I guess push the button. Ooh, man, that's creepy. Ooh, ouch! Son of a... Oh! The control panel is broadcasting a message. Translation reads, Warning, infected individuals may not disable the weapon. This right. planet is under quarantine. I right, gotta head back up. Under quarantine, holy moly. Uh, that's a bad deal. Translating background broadcast. Downloading summary to data bank. Alright, let's see if we can get back up before we run out of time, because it's gonna be close. If we make a wrong turn, we will be not not able to do it eight minutes i think we're going to be okay though we're just kind of going straight back now oh can i look up <laughs> dude that would be that would be pretty cool uh definitely creeps a lot of people out i bet if they had elevators like that The data spot. I should have scanned those Analysis cubes. Analysis of the patterns on the walls cannot ascertain whether their purpose is aesthetic or functional. Further data required. Seven minutes. Oh yeah, plenty of time. I really wish I had scanned one of those cubes. Six minutes. That's seven, technically. 
Uh, we are out here though, so I think uh, I think the seamoth might be stocked. Yeah, completely stocked. Arr, six minutes. I don't think we have enough time to get up there. Let's get something to eat, though. We need to eat. I think the plants, if you, as long as you don't cut them down, and you give them time to heal between cuttings, you know, I think that they heal themselves so if we come back later they would replenish some of their lost uh, seeds basically is what we know if we're cutting the seeds off them at least that's how I kind of see it Place that you fall into the lower cave at. Okay. Hey, this is where I was last time. Nice to know those hang out for a little bit. I do think that they will disappear over time. Four minutes. We got time to activate this thing in here, I think. Dodged him. Ah. All right, Iron Cube. Dude, that's cool. Oh, ah, what the? Oh, is it the crab? Stupid crab. Made me think the thing I just turned on was attacking me. And I want to I want to see if they can jump in that or something. All right, we'll have to come back. That might take me somewhere. Oh, that's so cool. All right, we'll have to come back up here because we can't go into that while we're waiting for the ship to land because then we'll miss the ship landing. I don't want to do that. All right, let's head back down a bit. We should be able to get down there in time to check it out. Night time. I also don't know if I agree with their rotating schedule of daytime, nighttime. I feel it's very, very chaotic. It's like it's not a set time, you know, uh, like let's say in, in like seven days to die, where you either a day is. 10 minutes or an hour or an hour and a half, you know, whatever, whatever you set it for. But here it just huh? kind of feels like, all right, um, that it just, it's kind of random. Because look, I mean, boom, it's daytime already again. I mean, we were just on the other side of the, the island there and I swear it was, it was getting dark. <clears throat> so I think that nighttime and daytime is a little bit different. Oop, there goes the moon's moving. And it's not really a stationary moon. I read one comment where a guy was complaining because the moon didn't move. And obviously this moon moves, and the other moon that we saw before 
Uh, and then there's the sun. Um, the other moon is obviously gone. Like it doesn't come up until night. And maybe I should build a base up here. A base out here would be pretty cool. I wish I could build a base on top of the water. That would be neat. Um, yeah. Base on the water. On the water would be pretty cool. Uh, I wonder if we also have storms. Like, I don't see any... I haven't seen any storms, any rain, thunder, uh, you know, stuff like that. Of course, most of the time you're going to be underwater, so in, in theory... Storms aren't going to happen very much. Okay, now we're getting now we're getting to dark. Maybe the guy meant that that always stays in the sky. I don't know if it's impossible for a moon to circular around a specific location of a planet or not. I I don't. Oh, there's the other one. Oh, maybe that's the one that's always stationary. You just couldn't see it during the day, maybe. That does look pretty stationary. Oh, what was that? Hear that? I hear something. What the? You see that? Survivor, we see you. I don't, Man, I don't know how you held out down there. We broke an atmosphere and we're descending towards the landing site. Dude, that thing's. Is that a building down there? <laughs> what do you mean you can't identify it? Hold on. There's no turning back now. Positions, everyone. Touching down in 10, 9, 8. Oh, there it is. It's coming from the building? Holy! Change course. Set thrusters to full. Oh! Oh! Rudd! You see that? Alright, there's... Wow. Um. Wow. That. Wow. That is just. That's just wrong. Those poor innocent people. <laughs> All right. Rescue ain't happening tonight. Holy moly. He just got blown out of the... Oh, there it goes back back to normal. Dude, I would have never have thought that was a freaking gun. Whoa. Wow. That is crazy. All right, let's let's save and then let's go up to that that spot. Um, wow. Okay, I I don't think I can leave the planet uh, until I get that fixed. Uh, wow. Okay. <coughs> that was crazy. I need a light. Ah, I hate those crabs. They're just kind of obnoxious. That'd be the only good thing about having like a little pulse pistol. Would be to shoot those things. Just because they're annoying. Alright, alright. Here we go. Gosh, no, this is even going to let's happen. Um, 
Whoa, what is going on? Do I need to move or? Am I in the same spot? No, I'm not. Where am I? Okay, we are. Where are we? Oh, we're on the island. Um, which is which is cool, and. Uh, bad at the same time because it's cool that we're here but bad that our sea moth is not um, okay well that's now we know what those things are for. They're for travel. Um, huh. All right. Well, we'll we'll call it uh, we'll call it an episode today, and then um, when uh, we we'll hit you back when we get back on the other island. And uh, we'll go from there. All right, you guys have a great night. Thank you for playing Subnautica with me. Green Dragon Hearts is checking out. Thank you so much. You guys have a great night.